Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. <laughs> morning, everybody. It's DJ Envy, Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are at the Breakfast Club. Flame and Rose starting as soon as Flame and Rose Flame, on flame don't turn off. Not What's wrong with y'all? Y'all know Not that. Yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Flame and Rose. What's up, Breakfast Club? Hello, everyone. How you uh, feeling? Flame I'm walked feeling in. lovely. Flame walked in and said, What's up? They done let Juicy out. <laughs> <laughs> They let Juicy out before Juicy became Lucy. I've been in the county jail. I know how they do you, baby. Good God. What do you think about that whole situation, Flynn? Oh, wow. I don't want to talk about it. Okay. (laughs) You know know what? I'm going to go back to Baby Breakfast Club interview number one because this is time number five in studio visit number four. Thank you guys for keep having me back. Okay. Um, Frankenstein was never the monster. Mm. Frankenstein created the monster Mm -hmm. and then did not want to face the demon that he created. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that right there. Mm. Now, we got to ask you about a bunch of stuff. Kanye Uh, West, Kim Kardashian. Are we going to go down for that? Where where do you want to start? Where do you want to start? Is is it my show today? This is your show. (laughs) First of all, welcome back from Austin. (laughs) You were at South by yeah, Southwest. Yeah, let's start with South by Southwest. Let's start slow and gradually yeah. ease into it. You know, yeah. work better when you slide it in. That wasn't slow, but go ahead. We can that go was slow start. because he's out. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus, that he got out of jail. And I let me and let me show you the hypocrisy of black men going to jail in the state of Illinois. Because in '92, I went to jail, first offense ever got, and I had a great lawyer, not like, like his team, mm-hmm. but they sentenced me to three and a half years for my first offense. I talked about this on here. Mm-hmm. 20, 30 years later, the exact same thing happened. I never expected him to get jail time. I thought that he was going to get a fine and probation or what yep. have you. Right. I, thought so I, I thought the judge was extreme, but the judge was not all the way wrong. If we re- unpack that whole thing and go back to the actual root of when it happened, I know the white boys in Chicago. That ain't what they do. Yeah. And at 2 o'clock in sub-zero weather in Chicago, you're going out to get some sex, some drugs, maybe some chicken wings and barbecue if you high, but you damn sure ain't going to Subway. Jared didn't even go to Subway at 2 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> you think you think they're trying to make an example out of him now just because he ran them around? So he's like, you know what, let's run him around Remember now. at first they weren't going to press charges. They said they weren't going to press charges and they dropped it. Didn't they want him to take a plea or something? Did they? No, at first they weren't going to do it. And then they came back and was like, no, we're going to press charges. Flame, say, Flame said that it... Flame, it's exhausting. Flame didn't want to talk about it. It's, it's ex- <laughs> but, it, but it is exhausting to watch this unfold in yeah. front of us. And I know 20 actors, 50 actors, 100 out-of-work black actors that would have traded positions with him to be on Empire and have a main character job making $2 million a year at the drop of a hat. There are two things that you cannot be, and I found that out three years ago at the same time. You cannot be uh, hateful and ungrateful. You have you cannot be both. You have to be grateful or hateful. Which one are you going to choose? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's it's complicated, right? Because on one hand, yes, we know it's an unjust sentence, right? But then on the other hand, it's like, bruh, come on. Well, he Hope. said he said he's innocent. Yeah, but he couldn't I prove that in the court of law. I told the Uber driver this morning I was a woman. Okay, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he, he couldn't prove it in the court of law, though. That's my whole right. point. Okay. He, you know, he couldn't prove it in the court of public opinion. That is true. Because here's, here, was, here was my whole dilemma from day one. They threw a substance on me, and I didn't know what it was. My children were one and two years old and knew what the hell bleach smelled like. Everybody knows what bleach smelled like. Yeah. Okay, we're going to leave that right there. Where are we going? Where are you yeah, we're, we're, we're going to South South Southwest, baby. We're going to we South are happy Southwest. that he's out of jail. because. And, and I, let, me, let me just finish this off because... <laughs> Them putting him in the mental ward of the hospital of the jail was a great thing. People thought that was bad, but I've been in prison. I've been in county jail. When you're in protective custody, a guy who wants to get to you can walk himself to protective custody. You can't just walk yourself to the mental ward. You have to be deemed fifty one fifty. So actually, that was really for his protection to keep him safe. Got, got you. you. Got so you. it might have been good, not bad, because you don't, you don't get a blanket. You just get a little rope. They don't give you anything that they think can cause, make you cause bodily mm-hmm. harm to yourself. Right. But you're, that's the safest place for you. And if you ain't got my mouthpiece, because my mouthpiece saved me. Plus, I had these titties and his ass. I was young. Oh, my God. It was an experience. Uh, what what are you saying? Wait, wait. So what what happened? I'm saying so that you, that was the safest thing saying? for him to be. I wasn't. I'm talking about you. Yeah, why did you? Oh, I wasn't. No, they didn't put me I was. Yes, I was with the fellas. With breasts. We, uh, it was 91, 92. I, I told y'all that. Yep. So oh, they wow. had no place for me. And so yeah. now you send a, a queen to jail. They got a whole wing of bitches, just like me. Mm-hmm. Uh, shoot me in the head, please. <laughs> just kill me at point blank range. I don't want to stay with no bunch of bitches like me. Yeah. They don't even <laughs> like me that much. Good God. So where you want to go next? Where you want to go? South I want to go to Austin, Texas. <laughs> all right, South by Southwest. First of all, let me uh-huh. just give a big shout out to Connell. Connell. Mm-hmm. Connell, the president of iHeart. Will Pearson. Will. Gail. Uh, Phil, 
uh, so many people that I met at the Southwest South by Southwest conference that they had invited me to speak. And I think they were a little apprehensive of me speaking at first, Charlamagne. They were a little taken aback because you know how I talk. But yeah, I am but you're that, smart as hell. But and yes. South by Southwest, I think, is a great space for, for that. Type well, of. they didn't come at me as a trans. They came at me as a powerful black voice influencer on the Internet. Right. So right. it was never LGBT anything. So the, when the... Um, when the advertisers were there, they were asking us questions. So they asked me, well, Flame, how can we reach your demographic to push our product? I was like, what do you mean my demographic? Ain't mm. no tranny soap. Ain't no tranny <laughs> shampoo. <laughs> we use soap, deodorant, shampoo. I can, use, I can use a ball shaver. You know, I use a razor. I can do a cover girl commercial and a razor commercial at the same time. That's right. I sold it because I said I shaved before I put my makeup on. That's right. So if cover girl can cover that girl, look what it did to this boy. Mm -hmm. I signed, I signed uh, cover girl. I signed Estee Lauder. I signed Walmart because I let them know that you made a difference. Let's we go. Use, I use the owner and I use soap. Right. We use toothpaste right, right, and right. mouthwash. That's not what we, now I might not be able to sell no feminine products. <laughs> but <laughs> man, that's a smart point that you laid out to them and they, they actually told me that because it's like, what you mean, my demographic? Exactly. I'm a human being. Like, exactly. Yeah. And I told them, I said, not only am I American, I stood up and pointed at my ass and my titties. I said, I was made in America. <laughs> they loved oh my it. Gosh. Baby Connor was like, oh my God, Flame, you were so great. So when we went to the mixer <laughs> afterwards, and I was in this room with all of these corporate millionaires. Here I am, with, I'm only a thousand there. Mm -hmm. Not even a hundred thousand, just a thousand there. And I'm in there with them. They never made me the centerpiece. They made me the conversationalist. They didn't come and talk to me about LGBT. They came and talked to me about NFT and mm -hmm. business and how I can grow who I am as a person. That, to me, spoke volumes of how people have not only seen what I am, but now they see who I am. Right, right, right. And uh, Charlamagne, I tell you, I don't want to kiss your little ass, but I got to thank you because if you wouldn't have came back, because I heart passed on me. Let me tell y'all that public. They passed on me. That nigga came back and got me. Like Harriet Tubman came back and got the slave. <laughs> he came back and got me. And it has mm -hmm. my second season of They Ready. We're doing actually very well in the numbers. And I'm, no, not I'm They Ready. Happy. Laugh and Learn. Wait, shit, you know what I mean. No, I don't. Like, we got to get right. right. I'm sorry. Make sure y'all download learn. the Laugh and Learn podcast <laughs> on the Black Effect because that's Radio what we want podcast you to do. Network. We want you to download it because that's how we get our checks. All they looking at me. You looking at me now? <laughs> I lost weight. <laughs> how many? How many of them corporate execs passed their number though? For something Absol else. Absolutely not. Okay. That was very special. Why would you go there? Yeah, that was <laughs> And, and, and all the praise because when Connor was speaking and talking about NFT, he gave the Breakfast Club so much praise. He <laughs> just talked about how you guys just blossomed and turned into a machine. And he was mm -hmm. so proud of you all and woo-woo-woo. I said, you should have put me on the show. I think that would be a great addition, but I want to live in New York right now. Maybe in August, but not right now. In August. You would be great on here. I think so, Angela. I can yeah. sit next to you. Absolutely. Don't I'm, be trying to rub on me and stuff, though, girl. I'm no, that is something. That, that is yeah. something we've discussed, though. Expanding the cast. Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. Um, so you could travel more, or just expanding the cast? Regularly? Expand the cast. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, look, I'm game. Right, I'm let's down. put that in. I'm the down. Let's look. put that in the atmosphere. Put it out there. I'm putting it all out there. Yeah. So, August, so. But August. but the South by Southwest company, it was so wonderful. They treated me so respectfully, and I'm telling you, that made me feel like I belonged. Like right. I'm just one. And because if you, they didn't come. LGBT. I, I don't want to right. be pigeonholed with that. That is a part of who I am. Yeah. But that is th this much. They came at you as a human being. They That's did, right. and they right. respected me. And I'm like, I'm in the, and I and I felt a little inferior in the beginning because I'm in a room full of all these white millionaires. But they were loving me. They weren't lusting for me. There, and I've had them lusting for me before. They, not mo them. they money don't make you feel small though, because what you got, you know, money can't buy. You know what money I mean? Money bought all this. I don't know. I'm talking about the big personality this. in the Money bought all oh, this. Oh, Lord this. have you, mercy. You sent me a check. Money bought all this. You bought these cities. They can say Charlemagne the God. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> we you gonna go next. Hold, hold, was, hold on, hold on, hold on. But it was, it was a wonderful experience that you guys have. And, and this is the first year back after a two-year hiatus two years, yeah. from uh, yeah. the co coronavirus. So I'm only expecting it to be monstrous next year. And they invited me to speak in Australia. And in That's New dope. York. Oh, well, okay. damn. I okay. love it. it was my first time at South by Southwest, too. I had never been yeah, to it me before. Either. That was my first time. Yeah, I was there. And I was, it was great. Yeah. I didn't know what to expect, and my expectations were way surpassed everything I thought. I, I got to um, host the moderate the keynote with Lizzo on Sunday. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I like Big Lizzo. You know why I, I like Big Lizzo? Lizzo? She's a confident bitch. Like mm -hmm. here it is. You don't like it, eat it. And, and I think she pays it for it. That's always important because she has a show coming on Prime 
Watch out for the big girls. I saw that. Yeah, she's, she's casting she's, she's, big well, women. Well, that's what we, that, uh, I think that is what is happening now, Charlotte. I mean, you have paid it for it. Tiffany has paid it for it. Even Dave has given out a couple of specials. Shout out to Netflix for standing your ground and telling the cancer culture to fuck off. And shout out for giving Dave four specials. He ain't yeah. called me for one. But <laughs> at least they, they stood their ground to make the Absolutely. cancer culture go this way as it going this way. So move out the way because shit got to get done. Absolutely. That it, was That was dope. And Tiffany, I think, started that lane over Tiffany, there. Tiffany definitely did. Now, now I hear Kevin is putting people on. Mm -hmm. But Kevin was already putting mm -hmm. people on. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. he has so, his network. Now, and that people who have this, 50 just put Monique on. So I'm telling yeah. you, people are seeing it and it's happening. If you got the yep. power, shit, Godfrey gave me the shout out yesterday and say, Flame kept talking about me about mm -hmm. getting on Because I told y'all, I said, you should get Godfrey on here. Mm -hmm. So that is what it is. That's not. That's how you get your black. Greatness is not mean, made by you going by yourself. Greatness mm -hmm. is about how many other people you can bring up with you. That's it's lonely at the top. I don't want to be that by myself. Somebody got to rub on me. <laughs> Somebody got to rub well, on me. Yeah, well, you do. Speaking of by yourself, season two of Laugh and Learn podcast. You got rid of uh, Nick? No, Nick moved on. Nick works okay. with WGN in Chicago, and I got my baby Lauren Hogan. Lauren, Lauren Hogan, Hogan is a, a black, educated, HBCU woman. She's ex highly intelligent. She's extremely articulate. She uh, she's corporate in corporate America, so she does all the contracts and all the. And she will stop me when she doesn't feel like I'm correct. Because mm -hmm. it's not a challenge of who's right and who's wrong. It is a challenge that we need to understand each other. I was just in Chicago. I got my toes done and my nails done because you talked about my damn hands. But you know I'm a roughneck. I broke one already. Um, <laughs> and I was my guy, Brian Dobbins, who does my feet. Just oh, a cool, that's my straight guy. guy. He does my stuff, too. You know Brian? Yeah. Brian is the coolest dude. He's straight. Mm -hmm. And Brian was like, Flame, you know why you're so cool to bridge the gap? Because you understood the misunderstanding. Ooh, that's real. And, I, and I'm like, ooh, That's Brian, real. I'm stealing that. That's real. So I'm like, he's like, because you always knew there was just a misunderstanding. It's not that you don't like me because of what I am or my presentation. We just didn't understand. I was the person who like, let's just talk about it and be cool. I don't want to argue and fight and all that bullshit. I want to, mm -hmm. I understood the misunderstanding. So ain't no bitch like me. <laughs> and it's Kim Kardashian, stop stealing my line. Tell me get your ass up and go to work. I said it first. Do your job, <laughs> Do your player. Job, player. <laughs> I said it first, bitch. I said it first, bitch. <laughs> people were offended by that. You know, people were offended by Kim saying, get up off of your ass. How do you feel about it? Kim ain't got up off her ass. Laying on her ass got her made her famous. RJ, Ray J made her famous laying on her ass. <laughs> uh, did I lie? Oh, okay. So as you find a lie, stop. There's more than that. What that might have been the start, but it's more than that. I said that's what made her famous. I yeah. said that's what she, she, the, the, her family is. Her mother is a night is a beast Gotta as a be. manager yeah. because they she make everybody make money. Everybody in the house making money. Even the damn husband turned into a woman making money. Good God, that is called beastly. <laughs> Chris, call me, girl. I need a new manager. <laughs> what you want me to change? I'll turn to a white man. Come on with it. So, what does your phrase mean? Do your job, player. Oh, well, that was the joke at the damn airport. But don't question me about what I am. Just do your job. Just do there your you job. I, if you do your job, you can't worry about what I'm doing. Yeah, you got yeah, a job yeah. here. He has a job here. She has a job here. They have a job here. If y'all doing all jobs, y'all can't be worried about what the next person is doing. If they drop the ball, go to HR on their ass. Get them fired. Like right. they should have fired that bitch in Atlanta for getting cool and sent to calling the police on cool. I thought that was the most ridiculous oh, yeah. shit I ever saw. In I my can't believe they, they fired her yet. Oh, she didn't get fired? They could have killed that, that man. Oh, that yeah. man could have died. Because yeah. of her ridiculous, she should be fired. The, the the supervisor should be fired, and whoever in HR that hired both of their dumbasses should right. be fired too. <laughs> yeah, I said, right. it called me. Now you said you, you came up with that in the airport. Yeah, because you did know, you listen? Did you see yeah, my Netflix what? special? When I, I go through TSA, I always uh -uh. had to go through the full body scanning machine, and it finds shit that I don't want it to find. Gotcha. Oh, no okay. Sense. Now you. Oh, you smart, Envy. <laughs> <laughs> now, blame <laughs> no, it with all of these. <laughs> well, all of these things happening for you and your trajectory, right? What is the plan now for yourself? Because like you said, you just did the South by Southwest. You met all these millionaires and you're going to be going to Australia. You'll be doing all these things. You have season two of Laugh and Learn coming. Um, so what do you feel like now? Mm is next for you. Uh, well, uh, this weekend I'm at I'm headlining at Caroline's on Broadway. My very first time headlining at Caroline's I can't believe that's your first, and you did lose weight. I did, girl. Look I, at I, you, I, every I, time. CMOS, girl, Charlamagne hooked me up with CMOS. <laughs> it got me slim. First of all, I lost 18 pounds on CMOS, then COVID took 20 miles. Really? I'm just getting it back. I had COVID in November. Damn. Uh, really? Fucked me up too. But I never had it where it affected my lungs mm -hmm. because I had no underlying conditions. Mm -hmm. But that bitch got up in my sinuses and I told that bitch, bitch, you ain't gonna beat me. And you lost I 20 pounds? I lost 38 pounds. Wow. Damn. All together. All together. Because at the CMOS, I was on the diet for a TV role. 
But then I ended up catching COVID, and the bitch took 20 more without, I didn't even ask the bitch to take it. She just took it anyway. What happened with the TV roll? I got too skinny. Shit. <laughs> no, I couldn't do it. I missed out on three uh, major parts in, in films because I had COVID. Damn. I couldn't go. I couldn't expose anybody else to that. Wow. And then my whole house caught it. Wow. My daughter brought it home. Wow. Oh, your daughter brought it home. But I was the only one that it took me down. And then my friend who took care of me got her. And then I took care of her. How sick did you get? Do you have to go to the hospital at all? Oh, or? absolutely. I was never going to go to the hospital. I would have died in my bed before I went to the hospital. I, I didn't trust any of that during the COVID shit. I talked about that when we were on here before. Mm -hmm. But uh, I didn't get that sick. That was just a very dark day where everything hurt me. My mm. eyelashes, my nose hairs, yeah. my gums. And no light, no sound. I just sat in the dark for six hours. But what it does to me is it tells you to lay down and die. Mm. I, I've been a hoe. I've been in prison. I've been a, a bad baby mama, fucked up boyfriend. I've survived so many things. <laughs> I'm like, COVID, bitch, you ain't finna beat me. I got up and went and cleaned up the bathroom with bleach. I couldn't smell shit. The kids said I had the whole house lit up with with Clorox, but I couldn't smell. It took my senses. But I, I had to keep moving because when you keep moving, it energizes your body. Right. Laying there says, I'm defeated. Mm -hmm. Do you know how hard it is to defeat Flame Monroe? Ha! <laughs> ask, the, ask the queens. They've been Impossible. trying to defeat me for years. <laughs> So let me. So what do you think you want to do next now? Or what's My in the plans? ultimate gr joke, goal and dream is they gave it to three other women this year, but I'm going to get it next year. I'm putting it in the atmosphere. Will Packer, call <laughs> me for next year's Oscars. I want to host all the major award shows. I don't want to be in a com comedy club every weekend. Right. I'm older. It's hard on the road, hotel rooms and traveling and bags and shit. I enjoy doing it when I'm doing it, but that is not even my first love. I am a host because what I do is bring people together. Mm -hmm. You may be uncomfortable with somebody, my presentation when you first see me, but after 15, 20 minutes in, I'm going to let that shield down. You can be like, that nigga cool as hell. That's that's my uncle. That's my auntie. Mm -hmm. Flame cool. Because that's what Dave pushed to right. me with, mm -hmm. with uh, Daphne. That was his friend. So she was so cool. That he was like, you know what? Maybe if I meet somebody else that's alternative or different, they might be as cool as this person. But the community attacked her, and then she, she didn't have my DNA. Yeah, because you you got thick skin. You don't like a mother. Yeah, thick yeah, yeah. like a look thick like a mother Hubbard. <laughs> oh, you talking about my skin? Oh, okay. Come on, what happened? <laughs> I'd like to see an ensemble show. Like you know, like they say, the real might be not coming back. We need a new ensemble show, but we need it with. Females that are a, a little, I don't want to say edgy because I don't like that word, but just. Diverse. A, not even diverse. Just a little more honest. People. Yeah, that, that's the word right honest. there. That, that's the word right, mm -hmm. that we need because nobody wants to accept the truth anymore. Mm -hmm. That's why the cancel culture was created because they're too goddamn lazy. If they had to do like we did and go get encyclopedias and go to this library and this <laughs> library and this mm -hmm. library mm -hmm. and join a black household, that. they would come sell library, I mean, uh, encyclopedias and you on here to get them in volumes and your mama, we was on welfare. So we might get A through M. But anything after that, we was fucked up. We had to go borrow it from the people next door because my mom didn't have enough money to pay for the rest of them encyclopedias. But they're lazy. They can go mm -hmm. to Google and say, I hate this. I don't like this. And they can't. So instead of hearing the truth, they would rather make it disappear. That's right. That's why, that's why, that's, that's why they were created because they're lazy. I'd rather make it disappear. I don't want to hear the truth. I'm, you will always fucking hear the truth fucking with me. You need right. a strong company that's going to back you. Because right. when, when, when the backlash comes, they'll be like, we don't give a fuck about the backlash. We know what we... Well, I've been we waiting on Netflix to come and they've been on some bullshit. Don't you think that it's changing, though? I feel like it's changing. I feel like it's outrage still on social media where it always existed, but I don't think corporations are reacting like they used to. Well, I think Netflix and Dave standing up against them and them, them two mm -hmm. giants mm -hmm. made people be like, you know what? They might be onto something. Mm -hmm. Because you see all the people that went after Dave and, and Netflix. Where they at? They awful quiet. They kind of like Donald Trump at Kanye. Because Kanye was, oh, Donald Trump is the greatest. Sitting on the mm -hmm. nigga lap, wearing his hat and friend, hugging him, kissing him. And he going, he having a meltdown publicly. Have you heard Donald Trump say anything on behalf of Kanye? That's Not real. Oh, okay. I'm just asking for a friend. Mm -hmm. That's real. What do you think uh, about that whole debacle? Kanye, Pete, Kim. Yeah, Hughley. Oh, they, they say Pete could do the Arby's commercial. They say, we have the meats. Call me Pete! <laughs> well, that was, that was, Charlie, that was Charlemagne who said that. I, I didn't just say that. We had Lunell here. Lunell said that's what's been said in Hollywood circles. Mm -hmm. Oh, Lunell. Let me, I want to tell you, Lunell, mm -hmm. that... um um. Uh, what's his name? Wax. Who? Wax is Wax. Wax is single, Lunel. Oh, she loves Wax. I Wax is single, Lunel. Two months they've been broken up. They've been broken up for two months. Dude, Lunel, you, you tell me. The, oh, you got everything up. Oh, I guess it all, dude. <laughs> I am flame on Don't do that in me. <laughs> uh, that whole. You know what? How what I feel about Kanye? 
I, mm-hmm. I used to be Kanye, not in the billionaire sense or rapper, but I was broken behind my baby mama. And I'm telling you, to watch that unfold publicly is mm-hmm. one, privately it was one thing, but publicly is a whole nother ball game. Mm-hmm. And you keep adding fuel to the fire. I understand your hurt and pain, but, and I hate to use this as a reference, but when you when a man, you know I'm he, she, we. I'm he, so I, I cover it all. Let me show y'all what I am. I am he. She, we. Okay. So, anywho, <laughs> when when I the man side of me lets me know that when a woman belongs to you and you she tell you this is her your coochie your coochie your, it is yours as long as she wants to give it to you. That's right, right. R. Kelly said it best, and I know y'all don't want to hear me refer to Carol Kells, but I said when a woman's fed up, that's right. There ain't nothing you can do about it. Right. She right. is fed up with his foolishness. You know who I really feel the most pity for? And before y'all come after me and tell someone, you got kids, you transgender. I was always this flame though. I didn't change up on my kids. His children see all this shit. Yeah. Why you hollering? You don't want your daughter on talk TikTok, nigga. You on Instagram acting a fool. Mm-hmm. And he is brilliant. The saddest part about the whole adage of this, and when they say money can't buy you happiness, on paper he's a billionaire. But he is penniless with his hurt, with his pain. If he, I need him, I need him to go and you know, like you always say, get some therapy and heal. Mm-hmm. He's just broken and it's playing out. And 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 poor Pete, poor Pete, don't even see he's just a pawn in this game. He's just mm-hmm. a pawn. Mm-hmm. Them, that haunted mansion pussy, ooh, that Kardashian, <laughs> ooh, and don't, you ain't got to be black, but that that Kardashian coochie is, ooh, it'll change your mind. It made a white man turn to a white woman. I do think watching Kanye's docu series, you do get more of a feeling for why he acts the way that he acts just because of the things that he's been through and how people treated him and with his mother passing. And it feels like he hasn't been the same. So how long are you going to be bitter? How long? You you are prospering in the world. You are growing as a, whatever your famous success is because you're a billionaire, Mm -hmm. but you're broken. Mm Mm-hmm. You also see how he uses and manipulates people, though, because there's no reason for him to ever talk about Talib Kweli the way that he does now after you he see what Talib Kweli did from that did. Doc. He made oh, his yes, match with did. DL. DL yes, plays. I love you, DL. That nigga plays no games, Yes, baby. he do. I DL, DL, plays. So DL know how to read like a sissy. I love it. Ooh, I love it. <laughs> but see, that's the problem, right? Like, you're going against comedians. You're not going to win this, Kanye. Um, I, I pray that he gets help for his for the sake of him and for his children. Right. Mm-hmm. But because mm-hmm. those kids see this shit. And mm-hmm. kids remember and people always say kids don't remember. Kids are sponges. They Absolutely. remember and everything. And they could Google thing. it later too. It ain't even like Google they... is a liar. Google said I'm worth seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Somebody got two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars of my money. I'm just saying you got because <laughs> Google is a liar. Let's go back to what you <laughs> were talking about with the baby mama, because a lot of this is rooted and just hurt. It's rooted yeah, in it's jealousy hurt. and envy because she's moved on. How long did it take for you to move on? Ten years. It took Damn. me ten years to heal because this was the love of my life. Right. I, I believe that Kim Kardashian is the love of his life. Mm-hmm. But the way it's playing out is so ugly, you know? And we didn't have social media when I went through it, you know? Because we probably would have been back and forth on social media. But we didn't have that. Mm-hmm. So this is what I'm saying. And, and he has too much money, enterprise, notoriety, fame, and too much to lose with threatening people. That's you right. You actually threaten this man. Right. That's right. That is, that is scary. That's Everything right. he's saying, he's doing. He, he talks about Kim being with Pete. Okay, well, he's he he going to make Julia up a decision because one day yeah. the nigga Jesus and the next day the nigga pitiful. Jesus was never pitiful. That's right. He hung out with some pitiful niggas because them 12 disciples wasn't shit, real talk. But he was never pitiful. So which one you going to be? You going to be Jesus or you going to be pitiful? And the crazy part is you see Instagram suspended his account for 24 hours. One day. In a minute, it's going to be those other corporations. It's going to be Gap. It's going to be Adidas that start distancing themselves. He we, don't want that. We're going to have a kumbaya prayer moment for Kanye because I think he needs to be healed. But I'm telling y'all, all you fellas out there that look good to you, woo, think of every man that had played in the Kardashian cesspool. Black, white, look at the basketball player she married for 17 days. That nigga is gone. Ghost. Cat. <laughs> Chris you Humphrey. Ooh. You see, Pete. You know, Pete got a a, a couple tattoos. And he got her branded. Ooh. Branded. Uh huh. Lamar Odom. Woo. Uh, OJ Simpson. Woo. All right. OJ Simpson. <laughs> OJ used to fuck the mama. Oh, that's the holy grail of woo. <laughs> it started with her. Oh, that. Woo. Well, you call it haunted mansion. Pussy. Haunted mansion. Pussy. Flame. Do you have any tattoos? <laughs> I have one a tramp stamp on my back. I have a flame growing up to, out the top of my ass. Because oh. it, it was hot when I was young. It's old and cold. <laughs> I think the fire had been put out. <laughs> oh, one more thing about Kanye, because he said skeet is some Chicago slang. Is that true? Skeet? Yeah. Well, I've heard it in Chicago, but Foo Fops is a Chicago slang. Maybe I had to Foo teach Fops. that to Common. When you put it on your woman like no other, that you put the Foo Fops on her ass. Have you mm-hmm. ever put the Foo Fops on your wife? 
I she married so. you. I'll yeah. be your husband. She's been married to you for 20 years. I hope so. Uh-huh. Have you put the food pops on your wife? Because during yes. the pandemic, y'all couldn't find nothing to do but have babies. Good God. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Emmy and his wife have a book out. They they need to be doing something, writing or something, because they kept, how many babies you got? Six? Six babies. We've been together 27 years, married 21. Okay, Nick Cannon. <laughs> <laughs> yes, the but only thing is that she said that she used to fake her orgasms with him and that the sex wasn't good. Early on. It's the truth. It's facts. Well, did you find? How did you learn how to satisfy your wife? Um, I had to ask her. You asked her, or did you <laughs> learn from somebody else? No, I had to ask her. Okay. I was, you know, Wait, I have you ever faked her. orgasm? Hell 15 no. and 16. She was 15. I'm not I was no girl. 16, so. <laughs> Men can't fake orgasm. Yes, we they gonna, can. No, you cannot. You're going to bust or you ain't. Shit. No, listen, guys have pretended to bust because it wasn't going to happen. Them niggas is weak. I don't know no niggas like that. I, I never guys don't know no kind of nigga like that. Bust. It's either you going to go or you ain't. <laughs> I wish I could. Now, if I'm going to fake an orgasm, that means I ain't going to stand up. That's the only way a man I know can fake orgasm. That means it's gonna lay there like a dead piece of meat. I wish I could. Ha- I wish I could hold one long enough to have to pretend. Charlamagne, you 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 a jackrabbit? No, no. I, you, I mean, it depends. Sometimes it, just, it sometimes. depends. That's terrible. And can't you also <laughs> ejaculate and not have an orgasm? I don't know nothing what you're talking about. Men, men like men like to see you bust. I'm just saying they like to watch it come out. Men enjoy it more than women do. R- explain. Explain. You a man? You, you a man? What, you said, I men know, like, what are you talking about? Like to, to, to see, see <laughs> their own. They like to see the explosion. Oh, more than a woman do. Yeah, because I mean, women no, don't... women love it. Women love it. But men, men, men love. I hate to say this publicly, but <laughs> so men love cum. Got you. Men got you, got love you. cum. Men gotcha. does. They like to see it. Yeah. Because I feel when like you get they... old, you get droplets. But when you young, it's like a river of ocean. <laughs> 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 I feel when like they rather by not. Age, they two, rather be in your mouth or inside you. And then they don't see it. Mm, not necessarily. Some men like to shoot it on you and lick it up. I don't want to make this a sex what? talk. See, that's okay, the. Okay, that's fine. Bring me the lip service, girl. We can do all this. <laughs> okay, well, how, what do you think? How, how do you think the Biden administration is handling this? How are you going to switch look, to look, that? Look at the Charlemagne. Did that nigga suck? We move, we move fast Russia. around here. But How wait, you, so you say you lick it up? You Oh, girl, that's for lip service. Come on, okay. now, I'm, bring me the lip service. We're going to talk I about am. sex. I am. I definitely am. I, I need don't want the more. people to think that I'm unintelligent on here talking about sex. That's right. Let's talk politics. <laughs> uh, <laughs> How do you think the Biden administration has handled the Let's Russia Ukraine Seaman situation? Seaman. Let's go. <laughs> I just want to give a shout out to Zelensky. That nigga is full on gangster to me. And mm-hmm. he used to be a comedian, yeah, actor, yeah, yeah, dancer. Yeah. Reality shows. And yeah, guess yeah. what? If the tables was turned and they was at us, guess what our old president would be? Out of here. Like Archie Bunker. Mm-hmm. Catch that. Archie Bunker. Uh, mm-hmm. That nigga would be hiding 75 feet on the ground. I applaud uh, Zelensky. I applaud the, those uh, Ukrainian people for standing. And it's, it's tragic. And I hope that this madman does not release these nukes because we all going to be fucked up. That's what I think is going to happen, to be honest. We're going to be walking around here with our skin falling off. Everybody, you ain't mm-hmm. going to know whether I'm training or not because you could be all fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> He's it's, doing everything he said he was, like just bombing kids and civilians and... You have disgusting. to wonder who he's talking to in this country that's giving him a, a leg up. I ain't going to say nothing, but the color is orange. Uh, What happened? Mm-hmm. Nah, I mean, it's a, I, 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 agree, I agree with you on a lot of that, and I think nobody's really taking it as serious as they should. It, like, yeah. The man basically said, I got my nuclear weapons off safety. Like, we, we 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 as a people, as American people, are always so easily distracted. That's we right. worried about fucking gas prices. If he drops a nuke, if gas won't matter, that's right. You will die. It does not matter. But they, people don't want to hear that gas too damn high. If he drops a nuclear weapon, we have to drop a nuclear weapon against that, which means that China may even get involved. It just would just destroy the world. I feel like China's involved now. They just on the low. Because you got to think that Russia-China alliance was announced a few weeks prior to all of this. I think they empowered them to do it. Yeah, Putin got Putin got flipped though. Putin didn't know them Ukrainian people had some strong DNA, baby. They mm-hmm. was like, "Fuck that." Did you see the whole thing that the trans they made the trans women stay back and fight? No, they wouldn't let them out the country because they identified as male. Oh, I read that. Uh huh. And so they wouldn't let them out the country. He's trapped in his well. She's trapped in her apartment right now. There's a bunch of them. They made all trans women stay back to fight. Wow. That means that lets you know that you can't be a woman when you want to. Mm-hmm. Break that down a little bit more. Well, I I, I thought that was fair. Yeah. Women stay back to fight. If you identify as a woman, you say I'm a woman because my trans sisters love to say you can't tell me how to feel. I'm a woman. I feel like a woman. Then stay back and fight because biological women had to stay back and fight. Mm-hmm. They they chose to stay back and fight. They didn't have to, but a lot of them did. So if they're a woman to stand up and fight, then you're a woman. That's why I always say the difference between a trans woman and a biological woman is a hard mind. I feel like you just said something controversial. I'm not sure, though, but I'll see. Once. You'll know. You'll see. Yeah. The, that cuts you me out tomorrow. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Look at my face. <laughs> 
I, I can handle it. I understand the high gas price thing too, though, because that's people struggle here. Like a lot of people here can't worry about what's going on in Ukraine. Geopolitical politics they can't worry about because they're trying to eat right here and figure out how they're going to keep food on their table and gas in their car. Well, I would say I'm complaining about gas prices, but I hired Sammy for a second year and I bought a Jeep that's hybrid, so I just <laughs> plug it up in the wall. <laughs> Thank you, Shasha. <laughs> I bought me a 2022 Jeep, had 14 miles on it. That damn flame, boy. Um, I call her Maxine, baby. That's her name. Her name is Maxine. She's what color beautiful. She? Black like me. Everything look good in black. There everything go. look good. And black look good in everything. There you go. Flame, who's you know open? That? Black look good in everything. <laughs> who's opening for you at Caroline's? Uh, so Thursday, t- tonight, um, Robin tomorrow. Montague is opening for me. But it's Ann's tomorrow. Just remember. And huh? It's is tomorrow, Friday. It's is tomorrow. Oh yeah, I know. But this weekend, so Friday, Saturday, Sherry Shepard. Let me let me tell you how dope Sherry Shepard is. Wow. Me and Sherry Shepard was never close friends. We were together at a Paul Mooney at Paul Mooney's uh, memorial service at the Laugh Factory, and, and we just started talking. We took a picture together, and she was like, "Flame, I love your style of dress. Would you hook me up with your designer?" So I did, and we just jailed. And Sherry came out of nowhere. Uh, Sherry's getting her new show, The Sherry Show. That's why I said August mm-hmm. because I will be doing hot topics with Sherry. She Sherry. got Sherry yeah. gotta have you. I love on. that. She's gonna Sherry have doing gotta hot have you. With her. On. That's dope. And uh, that's why I said August. I might be living here, but uh, she was like, "Flame, would you like me to open and host for you?" And here I am. I'm like, "What? That's great." Because I'm like, "Sherry, you a list. I'm down at the D minus." And for her just to well, make that no offer, minus, way, well, 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 we we talking about my career, not my body. Uh, <laughs> And for her to just embrace me like that, and that that was that was that spoke volumes to who I was as a person and what she saw in me. So I thought that was great. I was like, oh my gosh, Sherry, I couldn't believe it. And when she been calling me, telling me all these celebrities that are coming out this weekend to see us and see me, I'm like, bitch, you better be funny. But I am not a comedian <laughs> per se. To me, I am a storyteller mm-hmm. that takes you on my life journey and makes it funny. But you're so comfortable, and you know, at the end of every set, I do 45 minutes, and for the last 15 minutes, I do a segment called "If You." ain't scared to ask it i'm not afraid to answer it because people always have questions to me so i give you a, a fair opportunity you could ask me anything you want what's right the craziest there. question somebody asked um what's the craziest question somebody asked me oh did i still have my penis that's a crazy question well you but they you didn't answer know. that up here come to well, it was fair, but you only you only ask him. I ain't cutting shit off. Uh, well, I think that was the most extreme. <laughs> I asked you that. I ain't no, no, asked you that. Oh, Andy did. I did. And you got on his ass, of and course, I said that Andy was did. a fair question. Yeah. Well, because I learned from when Janet Mock was up here. That ain't really none of our business. But that was the first time Flame was up here. But that still ain't none of your business. That's not. You know what I'm saying? Why? But I could ask him. Flame could say. Why? I mean, he could ask. But I'm, I'm a very clear woman. If you come play in my sandbox, there are two shovels. <laughs> Yours. Am I? Okay, I was really. <laughs> now I was gonna ask where the second shovel comes from. <laughs> <laughs> he got confused. He said, "I was like two shovels." Shovel, I had to think about it. I was like, "Okay." <laughs> <laughs> that is probably the craziest because, but I love to give people the opportunity to, because people do always have questions, and so as opposed to holding up the line with taking pictures and me selling my fans, because I will be selling fans, y'all. We used to have a fan of here. Somebody stole that fan. Somebody I have definitely a fan. stole it. I thought we all. Fan, uh, we all I had it hanging up right there. They, right there um, in the middle. Yes. Yeah, they. I, I know it's right there. They oh. hold up Mind the line, so I just give you the opportunity to just do it. I feel like I can ask. Way qu- crazier questions. Baby. Come on with it. And Carol Burnett. <laughs> we'll do it on the show. Service. I watched Carol Burnett do that. I used to love that she used to do that because I grew up a kid of Carol Burnett. I, I loved her show, but she did it in the beginning. I do it at the end after you get to know me because I have to explain myself to audiences because I get tired of that though. I'm tired of them asking you about LGBT questions. Well, they, they don't really thing. ask me that, but because of uh, like shows like Drag Race and a lot of the girls do a lot of campy makeup that over the top. I, I'm a female impersonator. I try to look like a woman as much as possible. So now what has happened is their norm now is like looking like a clown. I, I'm not going to look like a clown. I don't I don't want to do that. I, I, the Ringling Brothers and Barnum & Bailey clothes, but the clowns is free. Good mm-hmm. God, yeah. they're running loose. Mm-hmm. And my, I look at me as a trans woman and as an entertainer like a circus. There is a main attraction, the bitch swinging from the thing. That's me. I'm the draw. You're going to come see me. And when you get tired of seeing me, you go to the side show. Ask the bearded ladies and the 600-pound man and the bitch with one leg. I ain't one of them. I'm the bitch swinging high looking good. But the difference is you actually have something to say and you're funny and, you know, you got great POV. That's the problem with a lot of diversity now. You can have all this diversity, but some of that shit just be whack. Well, like Brian said, I understood the misunderstandings. That's that's right. Right. I like your hair there like that, Angela. Let me borrow that. Let me wear that what? tonight. <laughs> my real hair. I watched it. You got a show tonight? She had to say that, didn't she? It's her real hair. Oh, it is. Hair. I can't let you borrow it. 
<laughs> that was a joke. But I'm about I, to come yeah, tonight. But I do got some wigs for you if you need okay, them. Okay. You, know uh, you know I got a hair store. You, I can't wear that dark hair. I look like, oh, girl, God, got I look all like kind a cheetah. Colors. I have to be blonde, orange, red, some shit. Y'all got a show tonight with Robin Montague at the, uh, at, the, at the first show tonight. And Carolina it's live stream on Media... A uh, media comic, a media comedian. Dot net. Damn, man, my daughter got chilling competition this weekend. So awesome. my, you ain't gonna see me at all this weekend. I, I got she Friday, Saturday, Sunday. I'm gonna be oh, out he's of town. Very unprofessional. You'll hear about <laughs> it. What you mean? You'll you, hear you'll about I'm gonna try to come on tonight though. Well. It, we're just airing on Friday. I'm going to try to come tonight. Well, Thursday. you can get your tickets, carolines.com. No, hold on so now. Don't just give it the time. So oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So go ahead. just give it the time. Yeah, get Friday at 7 p.m., Friday at 9.45 p.m., and Saturday at 7 and Saturday at 9.45 p.m. Get your tickets at carolines.com. With me and Sherry Shepard will be hosting and featuring, and I'm excited about that. And Sherry, Sherry's probably more excited than I am. Sherry a real one. Sherry, Somebody uh, told me something. John Murray told me something recently that made me be like, wow. He's going to be part of her new show, too. Yes, he's the show uh, he's a, executive producer. Uh huh. Yep. And, and this is my adage when I go back to women because I know a lot, I get a lot of pushback. It's like, Flame, you always pandering to the straight people. You kissing the women ass and woo-woo-woo. Women have always looked out for me, black, white, or whatever. Women has all have always been fair to me to give me an opportunity, you know, with Tiff, with with uh, Wanda Sykes and Paige Horowitz, you know, so many different, with, now with Sherry, because men were too intimidated by what somebody else would say. It's not that they were worried about somebody saying, oh, you trying to sleep with flame, but they were worried about what somebody else would say that, that made them feel inferior, you know? It, it, everything wasn't about sex. If Charlamagne would have came after me about sex, I would never would have had this job. I would have never got this position. I wouldn't <laughs> be on The Breakfast Club for my fifth time, fourth time in studio. That wasn't because that nigga like tried that, to sleep with me. <laughs> I don't want that. That nigga too short. Uh, <laughs> but he saw he saw my person yes. and not my character. Correct. Flame is just dope. I tell people that all the Flame time. Dope. I've never done dope. <laughs> <laughs> Where are we going? Wait a minute. Pray, let, let's pray for Kanye, y'all. I, I hope Kanye is mended and 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 fixed because. Ugh, Why God. did you go from dope to Kanye? That's flame. Because he might need some damn dope in order to get over this shit. Real talk. <laughs> Let's just be honest about this shit. Because sometimes dope help you. I ain't never had no, but I got some edibles in my purse that make that nigga sit there and play spades with the disciples. Good day. By the way, can you really be mad at the Kardashians, though? Is it their fault? That's no. Not, they, no. Hus they hustlers like you wouldn't believe. They're hustlers like you wouldn't believe. The, the, the draw is the fame, the notoriety, the money. Mm-hmm. You know, maybe even the sex, because they all have children with, bi mostly all have biracial children, don't they? except for one of them. Mm -hmm. one, yeah. So whatever that is, whatever that bait that they have, it's working for them. But look at the, woo, look at all the men's careers. DLC, you Travis know Scott, woo, Travis Scott. He, he, and I, don't, I never held his feet to the fire for that. He up there, you don't know what's going on in the audience, but they t attacked him for that. But he was also playing in the, woo. DL said, you know how crazy you got to be to make a Kardashian go to a white white dick? <laughs> well, first of all, they say Pete got the meat. He's like, oh, he can do the army. Green Grain, you might have a new a new partner. We have the meat. <laughs> Jake, I'm Jake from State Farm. <laughs> and that's how I sold those commercials because I said, I can sell uh, magic shaving cream. I use magic in the morning. And CoverGirl in the evening because they only want an audio. So when I did my voice switch with them at South by Southwest, they fucking loved it. How'd you do that's it? You said just like I just did. Yeah, okay, okay. I, can sell, I can sell razors in the daytime and cover girl at night. <laughs> Same bitch. My it's God. called he, she, we. Oh my God, they love he, she, we. They asked me to explain he, she, we to them at South by Southwest. Oh I said, he cash, I heart checks. She makes, I heart money. And we spend y'all money. Shit. <laughs> 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 Kano loves me. Who's on your Mount Rushmore of stand-up? Well, first plan? of all, if I get have to do Mount Rushmore, con I get two because I'm he, she, I get men and women. Oh, I like so that. That's okay, fair. All right, I respect that. So let me give that. you my women first because this is about to fuck y'all up. But I got to do a half, so it's got to be like half. So it got to be four and a half. What do you mean? Well, four, two faces on one. Okay. My Rita Rudner. No, first of all, let me start with my absolute favorite comedian in the entire world. Always have been is some more. Samoa is Samoa. the dopest. Samoa, you know I what her. I loved about Samoa? Not only is she brilliantly funny, but she looks like a woman. She That's has right. never downplayed her femininity. She was always dressed and done. So Samoa would be Chandelier my first. Chandelier status. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Samoa, Rita Rudner, because Rita Rudner always wore gowns. She never used profanity. She always talked about her family and her husband and made them big-ass ass. Joan Rivers, because she was an old, classy, trashy Legend. bitch, and I loved her, and I never got a chance to meet her. I regret that in life. And four would be, this would be my half and half, two faces. It would be Sheryl Underwood, because I have seen Sheryl Underwood crack a stage where male comics mm -hmm. would not even follow her. Mm. And the other half would be Monique, but P.D. 
Because Mo- I've seen Monique destroy a stage. Pre-daddy. I've seen Monique uh, destroy a stage. Oh God. Oh, what the hell is PD? Uh, PD is before daddy. Lord <laughs> Monique is a beast. Yes. She is a... And you, you, I've seen that. Male comics. I'm finna really fuck y'all I heard up. Monique new show is crazy, though. Her stand-up. I heard her stand-up she's doing now is is dope. Oh, I'm, my baby. I'm, it was it. always there. I'm yeah. glad she bringing it on back. It was Brooklyn. always she there. Yeah, she killed it in Brooklyn. Uh, male comics. Ooh. Ooh. Y'all can be fucked up with the male comics. Uh, Lavelle Crawford. Lavelle, Lavelle is underrated. Funny as shit. Underrated. Envy hates Lavelle. Lavelle <laughs> made my Lavelle. face. <laughs> Lavelle had my face sore. <laughs> Lavelle <laughs> laughing with him. Lavelle came in here one time. We didn't even put the interview out. I don't Remember really? Lavelle? I, I thought, no, he's been here a couple times, but the second time we didn't put it out, he was hilarious. Oh my but God. But Envy wasn't here, I think. No, I wasn't here that interview. No, I was in Africa. He nah. was cooking Envy. <laughs> Lavelle was mad at me. Lavelle was, was very, very big, and we were having a question. I was asking, and he got, he was very <laughs> overweight, and I said, how did so you big. get so big? Was it something that you were born with? Or? <laughs> That's not how he said it. Was. How what? you get so big? No, I didn't say it like that. <laughs> and he roasted me. Which I, asked, I asked a man that before, but he wasn't fat. <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's a good thing. A Lavelle Crawford, <laughs> Tony Roberts. Who okay. nobody, to, I have never Tony. not seen Tony Roberts break the stage. Mm. Um, of course, my favorite comedian of all time. My personal favorite was Rhea Fox. Rhea Fox. That's why I think Ti is doing stand up because I think Ti is mm. getting set up to do Rhea Fox in the movie role. I think he's going to kill it too. Mm. Um, oh. And that makes so much sense. Yeah, and and, and my sense. fourth one, I'm going to have you get this information from. Like, yeah, is that really true? Heard that one. Well, then I gave you an exclusive. Every you time I come, I give an exclusive. No, you know what that makes sense? Remember he did that video that day and he was talking like Red, Red Fox. Fox. Yeah. And they, I've talked to, I heard rumors in Hollywood that they're about to do a biopic of Red Fox. Look at look at T.I. Look at Sanford and Son. T.I. could got that walk. He got he that same it. tone. He does. Dun, dun, he, he, dun, could put, dun, he could put that wig and stuff on him. Yeah. And he could <laughs> put funny. a belly on him. Oh, I think he's going to no, kill it. you're right. So Damn. that's just research. He's just doing his homework. Damn, when the comics get mad, he's just doing his homework. That. that makes sense. I like me some T.I. T.I., we should do stand-up together. That makes sense. Because I think, I think, and I think he's going to be brilliant at it. Because mm-hmm. I see it. That I make, see I, it. Now that you said it, I can't, I can't unsee it now that you said it. And my fourth male comedian was going to, um, is Eddie Murphy. Because I fucking love Eddie Murphy. I love yeah. that Eddie Murphy was edgy, sexy, did not care. Because now, I'm, I'm going to tell you where I'm at. Like I came on here last time and said I'm free. I'm terrified to just be me now because the council calls. You can't say anything. And I'm, I feel like I'm at a precipice right at the door of my career going to another level. But if I say the wrong shit, mm. I'm going to self-sabotage myself. I and I hate that. to feel like that. I'm telling you, Sean, I, I'm not in your position. You are here at iHeart. You and legend in Hall of Fame. I am at the door of it, but everybody's so crabby. But I think so this is what got you here, though. But that's think... hard because you don't want to censor yourself. Ex- I know, it's... and I'm telling you, well, like I told you last time, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm tripping over myself because now I'm almost timid to say I can't. Like, what I really want to say about Jesse, I can't. What I really want to say about Kanye, for real, I can't because, you say know, the wrong thing take, and they'll you take it like, away. Yeah. They'll take it away. Who's mm-hmm. they? Uh, whoever it is, yeah. the powers that be. There's yeah, people who have had deals on the table, said the wrong thing, and then they there. I have had deals on the table and said the wrong thing. But like, I want to host the Oscars. I want to host the award shows. I think that I would be the greatest host for the Oscars and and, and Emmys and Grammys mm-hmm. ever because I'm gonna change every commercial. I'm gonna change wigs and everything. You gonna think it's a different bitch every time a commercial comes back. <laughs> and we're gonna have a great time. I can flirt with Blake Lively. I can flirt with her husband, uh, Ryan Reynolds, and say I got a crush on you, but you have to show up in your Deadpool outfit with cutouts. So and and make them fun because that's what. <laughs> I do. I bring people together. We that's what's wrong with us. We so separated. Mm-hmm. Oh, you black, you white, you gay, you trans, you this. How about we're Americans? Mm-hmm. We we all going through the same shit. Mm-hmm. You know? It, it's just I, I I that's my job. I understand the misunderstandings. Everybody don't do that. Some of y'all just want to fight. That's not like no the reason. name of a new special. Understand well, the misunderstanding. Not, n- n- say it again, Charlamagne. I understand, understand the misunderstanding. Uh, do your job, please. Kim Kardashian. <laughs> I want my check because it's my line. Come to get your ass up and go to work. No, it's do your job, player. That's why I got an Emmy nominated for because I said do your job, player. <laughs> it, I think I think great things are happening. And I do think that the world is opening up to see people for more than what they are because a lot of people are now actually speaking the truth. Mm-hmm. Uh, sometimes speaking the truth gets you canceled. Sometimes, like I said, sometimes speaking the truth gets you pushed out, or it takes longer. And I can't afford for my career to wait ten more years or fifteen more years. I'm not. I'm not twenty one. I'm mm-hmm. not thirty five. I'm not forty five. I'm past fifty. Mm-hmm. So I needed to make sure that I ensure a legacy for my children when I leave. I don't want my children to have to struggle because my children are Gen Z, and Gen Z is fucked up. Let me just say that we have not equipped these people. If if we're waiting for Gen Z to take care of us when we get older. 
shoot me in the head at point blank range, please, because they, they, they don't know. Mm-hmm. And that's what they don't know. It's not that they don't care. Mm-hmm. They don't know mm-hmm. because they, they, all they know is on the phone. They don't even know how to have a conversation. Me and you are sitting here talking to you. I'm right. looking in your eyes and you're talking to me. They, uh-huh, girl, did you know? Oh, Charlemagne, did you hear that? What's the, mm-hmm. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? So the distraction of it all. So we're going to have to pray for Gen Z because, whoo, Jesus, take the wheel. Wow. That's well, scary. That's the times that we live no, in, though. Is, right. You got it from A.T. Flame. But, oh, I want to talk about, that's, you know what I want to talk about? Swan Song. I know y'all don't think that I'm a religious person. but what I love Swan Song? Swan movie? Song against Minister Louis oh, Farrakhan. Oh, Minister Louis Farrakhan, oh, last speech. Let yes, me tell you yes, something yes, 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 about yes. Minister Louis Farrakhan. I'm going to get to him. I want to talk about my past in Chicago at Mars Hills Baptist Church, Reverend Clarence E. Stores and his beautiful wife, Lady Shante. I used to go to their church dressed up in drag, and one Sunday morning, I just didn't feel like getting dressed up, and I went to the church. I always sat in the back. I never raised my hand. I kept my head low because for the Lord, I always feel like I need to humble myself. And one morning I went with my hat on and my glasses. I was trying to be, and he knew who I was. And he came to me. He said, you're family. I don't care how you show up. And it made me feel so welcome. That's why I'm telling you, some places that you go in, you don't have to bombard your way in. Just let it happen organically. And I love my church, and I love how the whole community in my church makes me feel. But Minister Farrakhan, let me tell you something. I listen to his teachings. Now, I'd never be a Muslim. They would never accept my, me with my presentation, my life. So understand. But I listen to his teachings because what I respect about Minister Louis Farrakhan, he don't teach me how to be black. I don't need nobody to teach me how to be black. But he reminds me that I'm a black person in this country. And when I tell you I listen to his teachings, I'm like, that player is on it. They always try to say he spews, he spews hate and he spews love for women. He spews love for family. Mm-hmm. He spews love for who you are. You have to embrace who you are. Teddy Pendergrass said it the best. You can't hide from yourself. Everywhere you go, there you are. That's right. When you look in the mirror, I got 12 personalities. I see all them niggas. The good, the bad, the girl, the boy, all of them. I see them all and I embrace them all because they're all a part of me. A lot of people don't see that. You, you're so afraid to look in the mirror and look deep in the mirror to see everything that's in you that it terrifies people. But well, they do to the minister what they do to all of us. You know, they take bits and pieces from different things here and there to, you know, paint a narrative. But this is a man who's been talking for 60 years. And, and some things that he say I don't agree with. That's but right. no, I don't agree with everything nobody that's says. Right. Exactly. Just like that's nobody right. ever agrees with everything I fucking say. That's right. But to hear the message that he preaches as a black man or as a black person to of your 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 strength and your royal heritage and who you are in your DNA, that shit right there empowers me. It makes me feel like ain't nobody can touch a bitch. And that's what I hear. I don't hear all what everybody else hears the hate, and I don't hear. But that. what you're explaining is why people gravitate towards him and Muhammad Ali and Malcolm X and other brothers, you know, and sisters from the nation. It's because of that black empowerment they give us. So when you when they say things like, "Well, he said this," you know, but how can you don't agree with this, do you? And I'm like, no, but these things over here is yeah. why. And, and I love that he preaches that he is pro-black. That's and right. whatever nationality you are, I hope you are pro that nationality. That's right. That shouldn't make you anti anything else. It should just make you proud of who you are. That's what God created you to be. Mm-hmm. So I'm black. I don't want to change my black. I like my black. I'm trying to. Well, look him, and I'm trying to get her to come back black. Cause good God, she, she could look him, look him, and don't do it. Don't do look it. him then went beige on me. Let me tell you something. Look him <laughs> gonna get to heaven. Big ain't gonna even recognize her. She gonna Jesus fly right past Big. Why? And Big gonna be why? like, little Kim got to catch a stray flame. Why? <laughs> no, I love Oh my God, I do Lil' Kim music all the time. You know, I still do drag shows. I love Lil' Kim. Woo! But baby, Lil' Kim then changed up on I see the picture of Lil' Kim, I say, that, that is not Lil' Kim. I love Lil' Kim. Lil' Kim is one of the greatest rappers of all time. But my, my favorite rapper of all time, female, mm-hmm. y'all, ain't, y'all ain't ready for it. Shot Town, Westside. She just got married. The fucking the brat tat oh, the the, When the, the brat, brat was in it, that motherfucker was cold <laughs> as ice. You can't quote no brat. Shit. What you like? A whole lot of. <laughs> I like them. Y'all, I like them brown, Reese. yellow, Puerto Rican, and Haitian with good conversation, pretty big faces. Oh, uh, you see that? You hear that? <laughs> I like them. I, 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 lo- Rose, I love you, uh, the Brad Tat Tat, and you married that woman. Girl, call me. Oh. Friday, Saturday, Carolina. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 wait. We didn't touch on Will Smith, <laughs> Laverne oh. Cox. And Jada Pinkett Smith on the red carpet. Oh, I got yes. to touch it. I okay. got to talk about okay. it. I got to talk about the hypocrisy of it. Talk to me. I got to talk about the hypocrisy You're of it. You're talking about when Laverne was I like, no more entanglements. I don't need you to fuck up that job so I can't get the job. Because yes. all it takes is one of us to fuck it up for all of us. And the mere fact that I don't think that she said it in malice. I don't think she said it out of anger. I think she was nervous. I think she was nervous. Or I think that she had the earpiece in her ear and the producers might have said her accent. I would have said, I'm not saying that shit. 
I would have said that on TV too. Um, but the fact that when she said she was not going to apologize, because Will Smith is black Hollywood royalty. And if you don't think that Will Smith got the juice, ask Jenna Huber. Ask that first dark skin out, ain't Viv. Mm. Because I think it was, and the hypocrisy of it is, had Jada came back with, okay, you'll catch me in my next entanglement, and I'll catch you at your next SRS surgery, sir. The internet would have went crazy. Oh, she's transphobic. She hates one, 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 one. If you're going to dish it out, then you got to be able to take it. She mm-hmm. should have apologized to them. She should have apologized to everybody. Talking about she protected her mental peace. That was ridiculous. That was preponderous. Mm-hmm. Is that a word? Preponderous? Did I say it right? That sounds like something T.I. would say. Well, it is, it's ridiculous <laughs> because here it is. You made a slip of the tongue. Mm-hmm. All you got to, I'm sorry. I apologize. Yeah, that was not I my intention. Not, I'm exactly. sorry. Exactly. And it not, didn't yeah. sound like malice. It sounded yeah. like she, like Charlamagne said, like she was nervous. Mm-hmm. But you're not too nervous to apologize. Y'all put everybody else's feet to the fire for everything that you want. God damn it, what's good for the goose is good for the gander. I think and she it didn't said make she no would sense. apologize privately, but not Fuck that. Publicly, Fuck, you did it like publicly. That. They would you never accept publicly. that from us if we said something transphobic oh. or considered transphobic. I would have been like, okay, well, come on, join. I would say, I would have said, Will mm-hmm. and Jada, y'all invite me to the next party. I want to be the girl in the middle. See, I would have been coy <laughs> because that's easy and fun. <laughs> I wouldn't have been snide or, or contract. And then I would have apologized if I made a fucking mistake. If she would have said no more entanglements, it would have made more sense. She was like, more entanglements. Like, why would you want more entanglements? Mm-hmm. Can we first start off talking about that Golden Girls Betty White old ass lady dress she had on? Oh Lord! Man. Okay, let me don't go there. Let me y'all cut Wait, that. Wait, we part. just had okay. All right. Well, thank you. For <laughs> y'all playing. just had. Well, I'm not finished. Make sure one. and make sure y'all download the Laugh and Learn podcast on the Black Effect Please, iHeart Radio podcast. Please listen to us, Laugh and Learn on iHeart, Apple, Spotify, Amazon, or wherever you listen to your podcast. That we whether you listen to the audio component more so than the video component, which is on my YouTube page and my partner Lauren Hogan, who I fucking adore. My her, her YouTube page because we just do that for y'all because y'all like to look at me. But we do the audio component because that's how we get our checks. I'm also on Instagram at Monroe Flame. Hey. I'm also on Facebook as Marcus Flame Monroe Parker and July 14th through 16th my birthday we are doing a live love lounge in, in DC Comedy Loft and then 15th to 16th I'm doing four stand up shows we celebrate my birthday weekend in I Washington I forget you a damn DC. cancer like me uh, July what day is your birthday? June 29th oh you a June cancer mm-hmm. oh you a wuss you a pussy <laughs> July cancer we monsters baby and you wanna catch me this weekend I'll be in Caroline the dresses will make you look the jokes will make you think and the ass will make you question come on with it come and get it baby yes. I'm here for it baby come on <laughs> it's the breakfast club good morning <laughs>